Hey there everyone, it's Christy. I wasn't planning on making two videos today, but to be honest, I really have to say something about this and it's going to stay in my head until I do, so let's just get it out. I was on Twitter today, which is probably a bad idea, I'm on vacation, but I was on Twitter today, saw tweets being uh, shared around that were quoting Paul Joseph Watson. Paul Joseph Watson was responding to the removal of the swimsuit competition part of the Miss America pageant, and he writes that we should have a society in which women get to be rewarded for being attractive to men. Like that's perfectly acceptable. He thinks we should have a society where it's fine for women to get preferential treatment because certain men get a stiffy while looking at them, right? Now, let's just compare this, because you know, the whole life comes at you pretty fast, to Paul's position on meritocracy. Um, he thinks that the United States is a meritocracy and there's no such thing as privilege. Mm -hmm. And he also thinks that we should do things according to merit, except when it comes to women that give him an erection. Apparently that form of special treatment, that must go back to the gender norms that he wants to preserve. So apparently in Paul Joseph Watson's mind, a meritocracy where you earn uh, your, your achievements based on what you do for women includes uh, a sort of hotness meritocracy where if you're hot enough um, you get to have special treatment uh, because men find you hot and he's okay with that. I mean I don't know in what world that's a meritocracy. To me that's sexism and preferential treatment and discrimination against people based on uh, something like how hot you find them. But when you're an outrage machine and you have to be outraged by everything, um, when you're outraged by calls for equality, then you have to say that you're for meritocracy. And when you are reacting to people taking away sexist things like uh, swimsuit competitions, then you have to be in favor of giving hot women preferential treatment. I don't expect that this is meant to make sense because a rational thinking sensible person would realize the conflict in their own value system. Instead, this is what happens when you're a sexist AF and your whole career depends on you um, basically creating outrage at every moment. So I see actually now that I've been doing this, a sort of an infinite regress of cameras in the mirror. So um, hello to the back of the mirror there. Hello everyone. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to leave you with that sense of uh, how do these two things go together? They don't. They don't. But that sense of dismay, that was what I've been walking around with. So now I've shared it with you. Paul Joseph Watson, sexist AF. Like we didn't know, but just document it. Just document it. All right. Ivan Christie, you've been awesome. Don't be sexist. <laughs> And I'll see you guys later. Bye.